Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing and trying out the new Too Faced Lip Injection Power Plumping Cream Liquid Lipsticks. They came with 10 different shades. They're running for $25, and I got my hands on five different lip colors. We're gonna be trying them out today and just seeing how pigmented are they, how do they look on, what is a doe applicator like, what is the whole situation with these, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys didn't know, it's supposed to be really pigmented, long-lasting, even though it doesn't say, you know, how long-lasting they're supposed to be. They'll just be feather proof, bleed proof, and just be really pigmented, but still give us that plumping agent that we're all looking for when it comes to, you know, these lip creams. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. And as always, let's jump on in and try these on. Starting off with the first lip shade, you guys. This one is described on their website as Burnt Sienna. And to be really honest, it has a really yummy scent to this lip product. I personally really like it. I don't know what to describe it, but it just smells like yummy, like a candy. I love the doe applicator. It's like double-sided that you can use one side or the other. It picks up a lot of product. So, so far I'm really liking like the doe applicator and the consistency of it. It is very, very pigmented. I don't feel a tingling sensation yet on the back of my hand, but I personally really love this lip shade. It's definitely very bold. This is definitely something you would have to be in the mood for. This is a pretty fall lip color, winter fall lip shade. So, so far, Really like it. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on large in charge. Queen. This one is described on their website as a warm, rosy, nude lip shade, and it's really, really pretty, you guys. I actually really love this lip shade. I hope it looks nice on, <laughs> but this is perfect for like every day if you want to just apply something on, and it really does have a demi matte finish. It does take a second for it to dry just so far from swatching them on the back of my hand, but so far it's really nice consistency. It does feel really moussey. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on Size Queen. This is described on their website as a rich, rosy terracotta lip shade, and to be honest, it's definitely very rich in pigmentation. It's very pigmented. A little bit of product goes a long way, and to be honest, I feel like this is perfect for someone who loves a good, bold lip. This is perfect for the fall, winter season. Obviously, any lip shade you can wear any time of the year, but so far, I personally really like it. It's kind of an in-between of a red lip and a rosy red lip. You know what I mean? Like a perfect in-between. So, let's go ahead and try on It's So Big. Next is Give Em Up, and this is a warm tone nude, and you guys know I love a pretty nude, and this is really, really nice. I love that you can dress this up or dress it down depending on the lip liner, like if you wanted to give it a little bit more of a mood to it, you can, and I just really love the undertone. I feel like it has a pretty neutral undertone, and I feel like it can work with many different skin complexions as well. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on Give Em Up. for a muted mauve pink then look no further I think I found the lip shade for you this one is called filler up and to be really honest it's a very unique lip color I personally really like it it's bold but still subtle at the same time and I just personally really like it you can obviously layer this on to get more of a pigmentation just like I've done that on the back of my hand or you can just apply a light amount all around your lips to kind of tone it down but it's really really pretty so far I really love this lip shade so let's go ahead and try on filler up Try 
out and swatched on all five liquid lipsticks now let's go ahead and talk about them so I want to start off with the packaging I personally really love the matte finish to the packaging it fits perfectly because this product leaves us a demi matte finish which it really does I love the dope applicator it picks up enough product it's nice and spongy and gentle on the lips it has a nice fine point to it that you can use it also to line your lips so you don't have to worry about looking for a lip liner or needing a lip liner and as for the sides of the applicator they're nice and flat that I found it really helpful when applying this on so so far for this scent it does have a light scent it smells like candy but it's not strong and overpowering all at the same time and as for the formula you guys it's really creamy kind of moussey more of a cream it feels really moisturizing on the lips it feels really lightweight I feel like I barely have anything on which is a big plus and I didn't notice any patchiness or anything like that when applying it on and as of right now I don't notice that it's enhanced any of the fine lines or anything on my lips so I'm really really happy my two favorite lip shades it is give them up and a size queen I personally really love them they're perfect everyday type of lip colors but I loved all of the shades that I got you guys it's really really nice formula as for the volumizing plumping agent in these creams I will say that it does take a second for it to start kicking in. I feel like as the formula dries down, you'll start feeling it. I do feel a tingling sensation, but it doesn't hurt. I feel like I do have a high kind of pain tolerance just because I do dabble <laughs> in the lip plumping um, lip glosses. So that's the only thing, but I don't feel like it hurt or anything like that. It's just something that you feel, and then I definitely feel like the blood is circulating to that area. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, comment down below, ask away, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. As for $25, is it worth it? I definitely feel like it is, not only because it's super pigmented, but it also has that plumping agent, and I do find it to be kind of difficult to find a product that will do both. Do a plumping effect as well as giving you that pigmentation. I typically find myself, you know, applying on a lipstick, using a lip liner, and then topping it off with a clear um, plumping gloss that I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that answers everyone's questions. If you guys have any questions comment down below thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always i will see you guys all in my next video i love you guys so so much bye